What's good, Horror Horde? This is your boy, Horror Gamer, back with another video for you. And if you can't tell, your boy, Horror Gamer, is a little excited because it's another unboxing video from Hamilton Book. I freaking love Hamilton Book because you can get on there, you can get good quality Blu-rays for a damn good price. And, I mean... Without further ado, I'm just going to rip open this motherfucker and we're going to see what your boy got. So, let me put this pillow down. Watching a movie earlier. It was getting comfy. Alright. So, I'm just going to dive right into this bitch. That way we can get him into the collection quick. Alright. Oh, yeah. Let me go ahead and uh, pull these Jones out see how many I got I forget I even forget how many I got I don't think it's many this time around Ooh, I didn't know that this was this okay so the first film I'm excited about the one so I didn't know it was that so okay so the first one I got is a movie called Venom I mean it it looked interesting so I was like, you know what? I'm going to have to pick this up. Never seen it before, but I'm, I'm interested. And it says, Venom is a fright-filled voodoo thriller loaded with a sizzling cast of hot young stars set deep in the eerie swamps of southern Louisiana. Angus Brubaker, and Jonathan Jackson, and Megan Good are among a group of teenagers trying to uncover the truth behind a friend's mysterious death. What they find is an evil force more deadly than anyone could have imagined. Now they are the ones running for their lives. Also starring Bijou Phillips and Method Man. And it says, um, and then I guess it has it in uh, French. And special features include cast auditions, Voodoo Nightmare, The Making of Venom, Storyboard, and to film comparison. And this is not rated. And it says a spine tingling, bone chilling thriller. It looks pretty good. I knew that guy on the back looked familiar. That's Method Man. But um, I'm gonna definitely have to check this out. Looks really interesting. The guy on the back here has this big old machete type joint. Looks like a backwoods Jason Voorhees. <laughs> so yeah, that's about him. And then the second one I got. Now with this, I heard a lot of people talk about this and I heard a lot of people say nothing but good things about it. And I know there's a second one I need to find, but it's called uh, The Collector. I've never seen it before. Don't even know what it's really about. Um, but like I said, a lot of people have told me, Horror Gamer, you got to check this movie out. This movie's legit. You got you to gotta find it and you got to buy it. Okay, I'll, I'll get it. And so I got it. And it says, this is exactly the kind of film horror fans will delight in discovering. Already sounds pretty epic. And it says, from the twisted minds behind Saw 4 and 5. That's cool. Sorry about the light. Um, and the upcoming Saw 6. Okay, so it's from the people who made Saw. So, I love the Saw movie, so that's, that's a good start. The Collector emerges as a real-time game, a cat and mouse melding primal horror with suspense thriller hmm. from <clears throat> okay for handyman and ex-con arkin a rare gem inside a supposedly empty house could be the ticket to his family's financial freedom but when a mass psychopath makes it inside first arkin must either save the people he came to rob or become part of the killer's sick collection cataloged in blood bone and uh, tears an event for horror fans and the special features on this include alternate ending deleted scenes soundtrack song preview commentary by the filmmakers Nico Vega music video beast so definitely excited to check this out like I said this came highly recommended for your boy horror gamer and um, yeah I'm gonna check it out I'm gonna see what's up I'm gonna see if it's as good as everybody's been saying and if it is I'm going to go after the second one. Collector. 
Now this, the next one I'm about to show you, I didn't realize it's a steel book. I'm super pumped about that and it's raised and everything. So I'm not a huge, huge fan of Brad Pitt. Um, there's like th three or four movies of his I really like. Um, my favorite of his is Troy and this one I've never seen, but it's a zombie movie and I have to watch it and that's World War Z. But look at, look at that steel book, man. That is, that's beautiful. And if you can't tell, like it's raised, like his picture's raised and it's the unrated, of, uh, the unrated version of it. So it might be a little gorier. Um, so yeah, it, uh, it says unrated, unrated cut with intense footage, not shown in theaters. That's how you listen. I'm going to be brutally honest here, guys. Listen to your boy horror gamer on this one. If you can find movies that are unrated, get them because those are the ones that are worth watching. Yeah, some of your R-rated movies are good in theaters, but if you get an uncut version of it, it's even more R-rated, then that's great because you get more violence, you get more gore. Like, I think, I believe this one was rated PG-13. So, this one is the unrated cut, so there might be a little more blood and gore and everything else in it. But always, 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 if you can, if you got the, if you have the choice between the rated film and the unrated film, always go for the unrated it's so much better. You get so much more content, even if it's an additional five minutes. And it's an additional five minutes you haven't seen. And in movie time, five minutes is pretty long. So, all right. So it says, the, sus <clears throat> the suspense is killer. It raves Peter Tra Travers of Rolling Stone in this fast-paced, pulse-pounding action epic. Former United Nations investigator Gary Lane is in a race against time to save both his family and the world from a pandemic that is toppling governments and threatening to destroy humanity itself. David Denby of the New York calls the New Yorker calls World War Z the most gratifying action spectacular in years. Now it might be like an action-y movie, but like I said, it's a zombie movie. So that's why I got it. And uh the special features on this includes Origins, Looking to the Science, World War Z Production, Outbreak, The Journey Begins, Behind the Wall, and Camouflage. That's just the name of the uh, special features up here in the, on the top. But yeah, guys, a freaking a steel book. And this was not expensive at all. Sorry about the light again. This one was not expensive at all. I think this one cost me like seven, seven bucks. So I'm really starting to get my steelbook game up there, guys. You know about that steelbook game. Fucking ordered a movie and didn't even know it was a steelbook. But yeah, horror horde. So that was my tiny haul from Hamilton book today. Uh, three pretty, three films I've never seen. And I think at the most it cost me like 15 bucks for three Blu-rays and I mean, Worst case scenario, they're five bucks a piece if you, if you, uh, you know what I mean, if you do the math and kind of justify it a little bit. But all right, horror horde. Well, there was my haul today. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. Um, definitely keep a lookout. I'm getting closer to releasing uh, my first video of the new series. I'm starting to really draw up, you know, because when I when I bring a series to you guys, I like to um work out all the kinks because i want it to be perfect for you guys so we're getting into the final stages of this new series um and when i'm when i'm a little closer i'll give you more details like the name of it and everything else but you're just gonna have to be a little more patient with me i'm almost done with it but that's some big news and um but yeah i horror horror with all that being said, thank you guys so much. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And uh, um, don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And after that, hit that dingly ding ding button. That way, every time the boy Hard Gamer throws up a new video or a new unboxing or a ghost story or anything, you're in the know. So this is your boy Hard Gamer saying, as always, until next time, don't fear the darkness.
Embrace it.